Hey everyone, welcome to episode 27 of the Bag Boys podcast. Today we have... It's 27. Today we have a special guest in place of Drew. We have uh, Avi the Avocado. Oh wow, creative. That was was a very creative name. What What do you want to name the cat? Uh, (laughs) Cat. (laughs) Cat. Well, should, we should, what, we should give him like a human name, like Paul or something? Yes, yeah. but Drew is actually here. I just bought an avocado, so... Oh my god, here goes the whole setup. <laughs> this is going to be a... Drew's trying to flex the price. It was on sale. It was on sale. So that makes it worth buying a giant stuffed avocado. Don't flex the sale price. <laughs> Alright, Drew, stop fucking with the cameras. Co- yeah, cover up the sale price. Oh, oh, oh wow. wow. It's going to get dirty. Oh my, it's literally in my shoe. <laughs> That's the awful. Avocado. Had a good, had a good run of Avi or Paul. three hundred fucking dollars. <laughs> Paul the avocado. Drew, welcome back. How was your time off, Drew? Hey, folks. Time off was great. What'd you do? Um, just kind of hung out, you know. Uh, it was good stuff. Oh, you, you I, passed I the, the test. You, you yeah. passed the test, right? <laughs> I passed. Hanging out. Thanks, thanks for asking, folks. Yeah. You and really... uh, Rob caught coronavirus while I was gone. Yep. So, yep. We're all fucked. You can hear it. Uh, that's he, did, he didn't get the memo about Delicious. the 14-day quarantine. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, we'll, well see you for podcast 30. Well, it was funny because the guy came into work today, and he was like, "Yeah, I just got back from Mexico," and literally everyone that was there just immediately took a step back. Half of them were joking, half of them weren't, and I was just like, "This guy, <laughs> Rob, just sprinted out the building." <laughs> dude, no, I was like, "Get the fuck away from me!" Well, I didn't oh. say that, but I was like, "Dude, I'm literally hiding until this guy leaves." I really don't want to get like more sick. Hey, but don't touch me there. Yeah. That is my private square. R. You finally validated P- me. P- what? Get the fuck so away from Annie me. always sings that song, but she says my no no square. Everyone else, like Annie, you're wrong. Hannah, Amanda as well, both saying they both said it's no no square. No no square. And I'm like, no, it's always been private square. Private yeah. square, hundred percent, hundred and ten thousand. No no square. There's probably a reason they can't say that for some reason. Who yeah. knows? Yeah. No no. You is can't like say an... private anymore. You can't call them private, so you have to call them corporals. Mm-hmm. Oh, I get it. But still, no no is like an old Italian. Grandma. You can leave now. <laughs> we don't need you here. Welcome back, dumbass. <laughs> Speaking of Drew being back, a few comments from last week. My personal favorite. The thing I miss most about Drew not being here is him saying something, going on his phone, and then when someone responds, he looks back being confused about what they said. <laughs> Sorry, what did you say? Oh, my God. I'm kidding. Great right on cue. Good one. Top comments, always great. Uh, Drew is like my dad, this podcast. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> That there was, was a lot of those went, dad went, comments. Uh, went to get milk and never came back. Yeah. I saw. There's a couple of saucy ones. Um, the replacement drew is a lot funnier than the regular. That one killed me. I'll give it to you. To <laughs> was this mic just on the chair? I forget. Yeah. <laughs> it was literally just a mic. I was messaging Rob about getting a soccer jersey. He said he'll message me back in a few hours about it. Yeah, give me an update. It's I actually, six days. I did message him about it. And he was he is messaging his jersey guy. <laughs> And then he's going to get back to me. Nice. So I was like, out of all like the guys to have, like, you know, there's like a money guy, a yeah, drug but, guy, like a but whatever guy. He's like, I have a jersey guy. Doesn't doesn't surprise me. So I was like. Wait, oh, he's getting you a jersey? Yeah. Um, oh, I thought you were, he, like, he was going to ask you for input on getting like a Vikings jersey Oh, no, he's getting me a soccer jersey. <laughs> what uh, team, bro? Uh, Wolverhampton Wanderers. Classic. Why? Some random ass team that I. I want a, I want a Derby County jersey. Just wanted to. I don't even know what that is. I just wanted like a. This is above my head, Mingle. Like a really random uh, <laughs> soccer team, and like their logo is the Wolves, you know, in in line with my uh, old prestigious hockey career. And, hey, uh, buddy, let's go. And um, yeah, it's funny because I like about two years ago is when I started following them, and then all of a sudden they started doing really good. They beat like Man United the other day, and like they're in running for the Champions League. If you know what that is, maybe. No? Yeah, sure. Finals, sure. Pretty much just like the best team from all the other leagues plays in one league together. Sure. And now all my friends are calling me a bandwagon and I'm like, nah, go look at my Twitter followers or Rob. following. I've been following the Wolves since 2018. It's always been the Wolves. Rob looked all of this up 10 minutes prior. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Yesterday, same thing. Also, one comment for a podcast called Bag Boys, I don't see them doing much coke. True, it's before and after. Sometimes Wait, during. Oh. Wait, why is... Wait, bag... Am, am, I, am I dumb for not knowing why that means cocaine? It's like a bag of coke. 
Mm -hmm. I would oh. assume so. Okay. I've never heard that slang been used. We need to toss out the classic roast Christian comment. Is this the Tesla one? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I had that one. If Christian's fuck. fine is so weak, how does he pick up his wallet? Oh, I guess he just pays someone to shovel it into the Tesla's frunk. <laughs> <laughs> the frunk? It's just like yeah. the most unnecessary, like, just uncalled for. <laughs> but is it? That's like monster. back to back. Actually, yeah. no, there was, it wasn't last week. It was the week before. Roasting we for the frunk and the back. <laughs> I love the one the other week when it well I forget the his, motorcycle yeah, how it was phrased his spine is too fragile or something <laughs> I was talking um, about that I like this comment just because it's a recap of what happened uh, so Drew since you weren't here Rob said what if Corona turns people into zombies and I was like we go north Rob's like what about the White Walkers and she's just like they're not real <laughs> the, I guess the question is would you rather face off against the horde of White Walkers or against like the zombies. Knowing that the White Zombies. Walkers, well, the Zombies. White Walkers have like the Night King and shit, but they're slow, right? They don't no, run. No, eventually Actually, they no, level up. They fucking yeah. throw spears at a and dragon. And eventually they're uh, just like, oh, there's a fucking moat of fire. I'm just gonna throw my body on it. Yeah, they're gonna be made like a bridge out of their own bodies. Yeah, that's the, that's dedication. That's grit, right there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, that's is, that's is what you look for in a zombie. Have we made it now that people are like copying a bunch of comments and amalgamating it into one of their own? I think nah, they're all losers. Those gotta be bots. What, what do you mean? There's so many like the they, same comments. They just rip, rip off oh. each other's comments. I've noticed that the total comments are going up like yeah. 40, 50, 60, 70. The bots have found us. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> um, so last week's podcast got 95. The week before got 106. Before that was like 76, yeah, 49. Yeah. Well, because we got to give it the same time period. This guy just uncalled for. My favorite part was when Drew was talking. <laughs> <laughs> that guy, man. Oof. That's um, a rip right there. I do have a story to start off the podcast since we had the avocado. So... Um, it's massive, right? Mm -hmm. And Annie was carrying it from it's the very car, massive. and so we're in the parking level. First mistake: parking level of the <laughs> elevator. Well, it hurt his back carrying it, man. What do you mean? Oh, true. Yeah, Dude, that's yeah. like a whole three pounds. We're, yeah. we're in the parking level. It's because Annie wanted. That's to. Like, I was like, do you want me to take it? She's like, no, I want to carry it. Um, so then we get in the elevator and she's like i can't wait for it to stop on ground floor even though like we never get anyone in our elevator of course as we're going up it stops on the ground floor and i have never had so many people get into the elevator at once there was like <laughs> six people all come in there's like not enough room because annie's taking up half the elevator with her and the avocado and and just, they're all and it's not the avocado it's just annie <laughs> <laughs> First the avocado. <laughs> and there's this little girl, she's probably like eight years old, just like, like staring at it. And the dad's like, you want that, don't you? <laughs> and it was just afraid. She's like, I thought the girl was just going to take it from me and run. <laughs> and he just like death grip. <laughs> she should have just given it. What kind of person wouldn't? Yeah. That's like, Bree and I went to a hockey game. Puck fell on her head. I gave the puck to the kid beside me. Oh, that's a veteran move right there. Yeah, but it's a I veteran hockey just dead. Yeah. Yeah. Dying. Classic. We yeah. had people in the elevator when we came up too. They went to floor 24, man. Jeez. Ooh. It's like... Anything above floor 20 is just the elite. Exactly. They literally walk into the elevator and he presses 24 and I'm sitting there and I just... In the corner of my eye, I see Shane go... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm like... trying to make him laugh the whole time. He's just like... It's just almost, like, a, not it's almost to. like an aggressive thing to do. Be like, yeah. yeah you just know, like literally looked over the like, floor. Yeah. Damn, dude. <laughs> just like accidentally... Oh, sorry. I missed it. You just pressed 24, 24 The whole time, all I was thinking of is like... They were both like staring at that one phone. If I just on the way out, like, tap 20, <laughs> 21 or something, and quick turn the corner. It would have been so funny. Yeah, but that'd be a good way to do it. That would be the play. Missed opportunity. Yeah. Like that time when Drew pressed every button on the elevator, and then, what was an old lady yeah, got in? Yeah, some granny. <laughs> she's, she's on her way to Aquafit. Just like, oh, no. <laughs> Is there a pool in here? Yeah. Yeah. Summertime. Well, you got the rack center. I didn't even Wait, it should open soon. Like, April? I think they normally open May. Opening May? day, Fucking I'm cooking right. your I think it's like a Victoria Day weekend is when they open. Uh, and then not they... opening. Wait for like the week after. We gotta go probably for a, be busy. We gotta go for a dip. Catch some rays. Oh, dude, we can dip our We can have like a pre-podcast dip every week. Oh, oh. That, would, that would be nice. Oh, I'll have to. I'll be at work until whenever though. Bitch tits. Fuck. I'm always done. I love wait, wait, don't people. you? What's, yeah, aren't down. you gonna just have an eight to five? Yeah, yeah. but I, it's like I'm driving from. A different city. So I did getting... it for six months. Okay, so eight to five forty-five. Remember, you come right from about work. This, you're like, oh, I can't mention uh, working in a different city that you live in. And we said that you did that, and you're like, oh no, it's different. It's only like a ten-minute drive. Eight to eight, like fit. Well, well my, okay, my hours are nine to four thirty because I, I didn't want a half-hour lunch. Okay, or only wanted a half-hour lunch. Okay, yeah. So nine to four thirty. You're home by latest five thirty. I guess that. Yeah, no, I think you, no, they work at the latest an hour and a half here. Yeah, exactly. No. You make dinner so whoa, you can get whoa, here, whoa. but you give yourself an hour to make dinner. 
The issue is his gym time, I guess. He wouldn't have time. I make I, burgers by the pool. Christian business expenses it. I made it, I made oh. a huge decision today, though. Mondays are going to be my gym off days from now on because it's uh, just going to be too hard to All manage. Right, well, that's, that's not already like not now. happening because you're coming climbing every Monday night. Well, I have, this means I could go climbing then. Yeah, because I'm not going to the gym on Mondays. But we've got to figure out like, heard the, here first, folks. How, to, how I'm going to pay for it because I don't want to be paying you an individual. You have a job. Yeah, well, like... <laughs> I, 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 still, I still want to be cost effective if you, though. If yeah, you so do buy, it once a month. If or, you buy or, a membership and you go every Monday, you already pay back for your membership. How or much is better? It's like 100 bucks. Better no. just buy the uh, uh, buy the 10 punch card. For because, what? What's that, 120? Yeah, like 120 and 10 times. So it's like you're paying 12 bucks each visit. Save okay. Yeah. You're good for three months pretty yeah. much. Instead of a month membership, which is like 80 bucks. So that, yeah, that make it sense. wouldn't be as cost effective. Dude. It's good. We're gonna get overdosed on Rob. It's the yeah, most we've seen. Yeah, yeah. You guys might get sick. We're gonna get overdosed on roids. Yeah. Hey, I, I can't wait. I don't take steroids. <laughs> Just someone asked me the other day muscles. at the gym because I had a, I had seen a buddy who I hadn't seen in like a year. Mm-hmm. He's like, "Damn, bro." He's like, "Where is like, where you hide those needle injection sites or whatever?" <laughs> this and, guy. And I was like, "Oh, you know, just where the sun don't shine." But, <laughs> but like in my head, I was like, "That's a nice compliment to get." You it take is. steroids, and I was like, "Yeah." Is Though, that a compliment? Oh, 100%. Yeah, because like you, if you I go would, to the gym a lot, I could see I why like you a, would be flat. I feel like it's a it. compliment if you don't take steroids. Yeah. If your guy yeah. taking steroids, yeah, yeah. you're like, wait, I what the fuck? Yeah. Fuck you, man. <laughs> Bro, I'm naughty. <laughs> yeah. But no, I went from, I used to be like one, well, I my weight's fluctuated, as you guys know. I used to mm-hmm. be like a chonk and like, mm-hmm. yeah, like 400 pounds. I weighed like 190 when I was in like grade, like, like 400. Eight to 10. Yep. Dropped all the way down to like one. 40 i think and now i'm sitting at a clean 200 so it's like so you yeah. actually gained weight yeah, yeah. you're fat good weight but, but like i gained thing. good weight not like weight that was Fatty. just like sitting here and here and made me look like i was fucked yeah i found a picture of myself from way back then actually. it's great i wanted to i forgot to do something with it but i'll send it tonight and you guys can ridicule you, me you, if you what want are you trying to do with it it's up to what you guys want to do with it you know if you can't sleep one night i'm gonna you know, put it on just, the avocado's face we'll do that, yeah do it i'm gonna put it on the bear's face we should, we should. I guess we need a fourth panel, though. I was going to say one for each of us. Hey, when are those things coming in? I don't know. Okay. What Never things? heard back. <laughs> Oof. What should things? Get the refund? audio panels? I, yeah, I need to contact them. It's from Hong Kong, though. So oh, we're like, never oh, getting those. Yeah. Yeah. Delay it as much as you want. Those they, things should just con- be a fucking breeding ground for uh, <laughs> True. They've emailed bacteria me. in general. They've emailed me deals. They're like, hey, you want to buy more? I'm like, send me everything really off first, you lazy fox. <laughs> I've just been lazy and I haven't done anything. I should do that. So now. on the topic, where are we as a podcast on coronavirus? Are we scared yet? No. Are we nervous? I we're we're all decently young and healthy. If you guys want to work from home, feel free. I understand. We'll implement it as a company-wide policy. Yeah, we can do that. We're just going to get a Discord every Monday. <laughs> Imagine. We can do it Discord. anyway. Wait a second. <laughs> do it some That's game every other day. Wait a sec. I could, I could just imagine. So for like, it'll be my camera. It'll be super high quality. And then it'll be like Shane's, which is decent. Drew would be on his like phone. I'll be like, I don't have to be like the <laughs> default profile photo. I'll just, like, just record it on my iPad. Sketch. We're like, bro, we need a picture. He just draws a picture on a piece of paper with best. crayons. <laughs> I don't know. It's like it's kind of making me a little antsy, just because like, well, we haven't had any cases here yet. I don't yeah, think. There's or there's been yeah, one, we, but they shut she, her away. She's right? old. Mm-hmm. Oh. And don't worry, she went right from the plane where she was experiencing symptoms to the hospital. No, she stopped at home. I thought. Well, like we're good. She, Gave it she to her took, dog. She took a private service from wherever it was to the hospital. But like the thing I don't understand is if you're experiencing symptoms when you're on the plane, chances are you're d- experiencing them before the plane. Yeah. yeah. Like you think of all the contact points. Like you yeah. need to track down every single person on that flight. Transporta- no, too late. Transportation hubs are scary for diseases, I guess. Yeah. Bree's mm-hmm. supposed to go to side. Amsterdam in like a month. And I'm like, she's not going. Just go. I hope not. Just go. That'll be cheap as fuck. Bree's not going to die from it. I told her I'm not going <laughs> to hang out with her for two weeks after. Yeah, fair. Two and a half to be safe. Let her go. This is a win-win. A win. She gets back. Oh, I can't see her for two weeks. Perfect. You're with us. If, if, lot, if she never games. comes back, she never comes back. <laughs> You're with us. Let's go. They do like you, Bree. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. I mean, it cuts into our smite time sometimes. Oh, are you on tonight? I'll play some smite. Time. Man. I gotta get some nineties. I gotta get some nineties in just to stay okay, fresh. Get all but, of your nineties uh, in from nine to eleven. I'm down. I'll just rip oh, yeah. as soon as I get home, and okay. then you guys, and then once you guys get back, we'll uh, 
I'll whip some smite. Yeah, then we'll rip some 360 Aries smite. But yeah, no, not worried at all. Like, again, we're all young and healthy. Yeah. Realistically, the, the concern is more passing on to someone yes. else who's Dude, more fragile. Yeah. I still have to go to work. Like, There's no way they would make you go to work. No, I don't that. have to, but I'm going to. I'll, I'll mask up. Wait, wait. What do you mean? Like that, someone that, that has it? But like, so like, if it's like all over the place, they're yeah, not so shutting where I work down. Your produce. But they're not gonna shut it down. Do you know what I mean? Like, someone's still gonna have to show up and work. But wouldn't they just get someone else to cover you? Well, like, if it, if it hits here, everybody's sick. Who's wait, covering? How who? come you? Don't, yeah. What do you mean you have to? You do? Well, I guess you wouldn't have to. If you're sick, you don't have to show up. It's up to you. Blah 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 blah. Your discretion. But um, wait. realistically, the first one to get sick here, it's gonna be either you or me. I'm already because we work sick. in the worst spots. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are. You're well, definitely safe because you don't need to leave home. Mm-hmm. Must be uh, nice. And he gets and, sick all the time, though. True. And she goes to school every day. Ooh. Yeah, rip. Ooh. And she's going to be in the... But, but no, her program is my, mainly like all white kids who don't leave school. Safe. So <laughs> anybody safe. can carry the coronavirus, Christian. <laughs> it ignores... I'm saying... Not it, true. It, it ignores race. race. It ignores gender. I'm more so saying because like there's a lot of international students there that leave like every month. Okay. But luckily, hey, you were hey, international hey, once too. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, Hannah, please stop it. Stop it. <laughs> um, yeah, like, like you said, like the only thing I'm concerned about is like passing it on to my grandparents. Accidentally. Yeah. It's, Dude, if I get it, you're right. Accidentally. Guess, yeah. You just lock down. I think I read somewhere I think it was like on CBC and it was like, if you have the normal flu versus a coronavirus, you have a shittier time just with the flu than Correct. you do with the coronavirus. Because it, the fever lasts technically less yeah. but again if you're old and you get it you're just dead yeah it's like you need to have a strong immune system which yeah. i don't mine's actually the opposite of that like, mm-hmm. literally it's kind of shitty actually because like literally i think i told you guys that right my it's immune system is like not yeah. what it should be so when oh, i do get sick he's immunocompromised but you've had a very good run yeah i've had a good run if i die because I die. last there was a point where you were pretty much sick like a, a year yeah. straight <laughs> my entire first call out my boss was just like as a joke he's like why the fuck did we hire some like, terminally <laughs> ill kids to like, work the whole time? He's just like, is this the Make-A-Wish Foundation? Because <laughs> like, every time I came into work, Am I, I getting was, like, paid for this? I was yeah. like sniffling in the cough from my boss. It's just like, what the fuck, man? Like, just go to bed earlier. Like, just, But the best part was I got to go work from home and play lots of uh, Siege. Yeah, that was a great time. Yeah. That was a great time for content. I played like twice a week, getting paid. Every single other God day, you just be like, hey, I'm home. Like. Perfect. Perfect. Let's do it. Let's do it. Beauty. Speaking of Siege, you haven't played in a while, haven't you? Now, right? Like, no, yeah. I played with him like season... two days ago. No, not true. New season starts <laughs> tomorrow. So, so you're playing it tomorrow? Start? Yeah. So I've just been like Whoa. relaxing. Will, the, much. will there be an update? Do they know that? Yeah. Oh, it's a big, it's like a 70 gig update. Wow. Wait, actually? I'm How? not installing. I've had enough. Dude, I'm going to have to be they are like, What's the game size up to now? Like fucking 300 gigabytes? No. Like, so they keep uh, decreasing the size, but like when you decrease it that means you have to download like a shit ton more because it's going from like 90 gigs to 70 they're not just deleting stuff so you're reformatting it and basically yeah so like, you're not so you're, you're just re- downloading it you're again reinstalling the game. Gotcha. basically man yeah, because like it's just being crunched down so much that they have to keep doing i'm gonna that. have to like reform on my ssd just to fit that i think I mean, it's like no, so much well, like, you already have it it'll just uh like copy over it i guess speaking of big downloads the new cod battle royale comes out tomorrow warzone Wow. And I don't remember I'm asking. so excited. Wow. But the thing is, I haven't downloaded Modern Warfare in a while because it's just too sweaty of a COD. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I want to play the BR. Yeah, me too. But if you just want to play the BR, you still have to download like 90 Everything. gigs. Yeah. And I'm like, my, my I have a day one Xbox One that has 500 gigs of storage on it. And I already yeah. have like Destiny, so uh, other games that are like 100 and something gigs each. I'm not looking so forward I'm fucked. to that. I'm there goes the whole just, storage. Just a, I know. When you get a drop, get a new SSD. Well, I'm gonna they're, buy they're one. pretty cheap now. I'm going to buy one, I think, Yeah, like 100 week. bucks for a 500. I need to get one. Whatever. They're like 150 for like a 2 terabyte. I'm going to try and... They're really cheap now. Wait, 150 for 2 terabytes? Something like that, yeah. Dude, am I've I, been... I, why don't I just put my sure. whole thing on there? Am I competent enough to put an SSD in my computer? If you can't put an SSD in your computer, then I would take I put the computer RAM in there. Chris, I'm going to bring my computer to you to do it. You know you were the mechanic. I don't want to touch it. I know <laughs> you were not cleaned in like five years. I don't want. I to cleaned go it away. the last time you cleaned it, <laughs> which I, was when you four years ago. In no, because we we did like that update. It's probably what two years now. How often do you clean Maybe. yours? Well, my computer is like a year old. I think I cleaned it like three or four mm, months. My in. computer self cleans. <laughs> <laughs> I, I cleaned my keyboard the other day, and it was fucking disgusting. I don't even want to so do that to mine, all that, man. Yeah, that's gross. Yeah, we built mine. Like what you were. 
You two like were there, I think. Were you there ever? No. It was like when me and Amanda Daryl. started dating. Yeah. When you... I bought my car. It's been like five. Oh, yeah. She came over with your dark. <laughs> I'm like, yo, Rob, look like, at this. Yeah. I'm building a PC to pull up on a new Dodge. I was like, <laughs> holy <laughs> fuck. Rob bought a PC and I bought a fucking car. <laughs> that was a big month. I was like, guys, 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 I bought a computer. Shane, Shane, Shane pulls up with a dirt. <laughs> I'm like, Fuck Shane's you. like, my car has a computer. <laughs> I just remember you coming out like, yo, this is fucking sick. I remember that. Uh, Want to come watch me build my PC? We had like a whole like group of, there was like Christian. It was the sweatiest group of people oh, I've ever seen. We had, Andy? Uh, we had our boy Travis. And then oh, we have another guy who, uh, oh, so by the way, before I forget, it's 150 for one terabyte. Wow. That's not even crazy. 250 for two Yeah, it's still so pretty, pretty good. It's cheaper than I thought it was. That's mm. like good that's what my entire <laughs> my entire computer's all ssds i don't have hard drives anymore my yeah i have a terabyte Cause like well like because they're cheap uh, and a hard drive is like 80 yeah. bucks so and i'm like why rich. not just <laughs> <laughs> okay whatever so confession monday okay i haven't cleaned my i haven't cleaned my pc since we built are you supposed it to no, confess on sundays yeah. are you supposed to like open it and clean it i'm too scared now oh, it'll, so i'm okay. too scared yeah, basically what's that. gonna happen is that like the fans are gonna build up with dust on the back and then See? that's gonna raise the internal temperatures of your computer which will cause a higher chance of it like overheating and okay. then breaking something because it overheated i'm just too i don't get so the thing is, is i'm pretty sure some of the dust is holding things together <laughs> <laughs> so like if i get in there and blow the dust out and then my computer you, just doesn't turn on then what yeah You're toast basically all you need to know when you you're cleaning your computer fan not yeah. plugged in. is like just <laughs> unplug it open the door just, open and the just fucking dust everywhere but don't like touch anything do you have if to you touch it yourself oh no, no just use the compressed air gotcha and then like touch but don't touch over. it with like a kleenex or anything because that'll like cause static which will then zap shit so but like doesn't it just <laughs> blow the air the dust around uh, inside the uh, well like you're power? smart about it and you're like you yeah but even still like you're not gonna blow it out Unless you can get in behind the fan somehow, but then you're going to be fucking fist bumping the motherboard. I mean, you can get behind it. Idiot. It's not that Did hard. Did you not see the extendo straw in the air fan? <laughs> it's How curved. Are you gonna, you yeah, but you can't. No. It's like, it's like, a, giant va- it's like a giant vacuum end. Right? It's like this yeah, exactly. Just give her to your and you basically, like, you just keep blowing and it'll, like, if the dust gets blown to the back, it's going to bounce off the wall and, f- yeah. like, float out. Maybe. Yeah, you got to, like, use work with, like, mirrors can and light. you just vacuum it? <laughs> and, like, no. Ricochet things? Why not? I did that. Apparently, it's very bad. Really? <laughs> I was always told to vacuum. No, apparently, it's incredibly bad for your PC. Wow. Says who? The they? Says... Says Twitch chat when says I said, Newegg. I was just like, oh yeah, I used the vacuum. They're like, what? why the fuck did you do that? It says we three schools. What if I am I have the vacuum just hovering above and I compress Ooh, all the air nice. so it sucks oh, into the air? I dig that. That's a great idea. That could maybe work, but yeah. That's where all the dust would go. That's some, I think it's just because Star it causes, Trek type shit. Though. It causes like, a lot of static as well. Mm-hmm. I'm going to keep the, the Safe carpet distance. cleaner attachment on the yep. vacuum though. Because that, oh, that dissipates the static. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You're yeah. giving me some pretty fucking wild ideas right now. <laughs> I can't wait for like next week. Just gonna be like, yeah, I broke my computer. <laughs> I'm just gonna show up with a leaf blower in my PC. Like, will this work? <laughs> I'm just gonna put, put my PC in my garage and get my neighbor to back his truck up and just rev his engine into my into my garage and get it that way. I'm sure that'll work, right? Sure, yeah. Fuck it. It'll actually get more power because of the leftover oh, right. like, the, the, coal the, or whatever. It actually just like fills with dirt. <laughs> <laughs> like methane or the fuck it is. I turn my PC on. It's just a leaky. It the cow. <laughs> Yeah, like, apparently cars produce methane now. That's what they should cars do, man. Cars and robs produce methane. I have been producing a lot of methane today. Me too. My insides are not good. I was Yesterday the- at board games, holy, I was fucking crop dusting everyone. They just didn't know it. Something- I knew it. Because you fucking, he came back from the washroom. He's like, and like it yeah. was Rob. And it, yeah, just, <laughs> it was Rob. His eyes go like, <laughs> like Drew, we know it was There was you. females there. Oh, you had to blame me? Yeah. yeah. Um, females it's danny and hannah come on <laughs> true versus the avocado the, the worst thing is though like i for me well like farting is directly correlated to taking a shit so i took a shit but i'm still farting like every 30 seconds so, hold on. every time you fart you have to take a shit well like if i'm farting a lot i might me it's a body signal for me to go take a shit or at least try to you know we've all had that risky fart where you're like Am I, if I push sh- this out, am yeah. I shitting myself? Like, you'll have a few farts in a row, and then that, and that's true <laughs> every week. And then yeah. that, that <laughs> last fart directors. gets, like, chambered in your stomach. Exactly. And you're just like, I could kind of wiggle it out. Or if I just try <laughs> to get it out, I'm going to fucking leave a skid mark all the way at my fucking backside. You're just going to blow a hole through your pants. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Drew's like, one of my secret, that's me every fucking day. <laughs> I shit my pants twice p- playing football. I'm not kidding. Really? Because, like, I tried to squeeze a fart out in between plays. 
and you know, your adrenaline's up. You're not really thinking straight. You just kind of, and your ass one, is already sweaty. One time golfing a par three with my parents. You shit your pants. It was a wet fart. On the first hole. Oh, <laughs> oh no. You had to go the rest of the round and you're... Thankfully, it was a par three, but it was not enjoyable. Oh, gosh. It's like swamp ass to <laughs> the max. I'm cringing just thinking about it. That feeling of like... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. There being a substance between your ass cheeks and your boxers is the worst feeling ever. So, wait. Did you just play through the holes? God, I'm yeah. not going to tell someone that I just... Shit my pants. Oh, shit myself. <laughs> wait, and so what? Did you play through your football game with? I didn't realize I shit until after. And then I, I'm getting Does that not like seat? He got through? hit so hard, he got the one end and a concussion. I just didn't even feel time. it, man. I just like got changed, looked down, and I was like, I pulled my pants back before anyone saw because I was. Did like, you Did you show your teammate? You're like, yo, boys. I showed a couple of the boys. Yeah, I was just like, yo, I, I was like, yo, I, I know you shit myself. Ass, dude. <laughs> And they were like, "Damn, folks, dude, you know, that's, that's, the most, that's the most guy thing I've ever heard." They were, and then, of course, it was a, it was jokes for a Holy bit, being fuck. like, uh, "Oh, stay away," because every, every time I got hit or hit someone, it was always like he's probably shitting his pants. <laughs> we were going to get pizza when we were play, when we were at Shane's, and I literally like, "Yeah, I gotta go to the washroom quick." I walk in, there's just a fucking log sitting in the toilet. <laughs> Shane. I can't be drinking this right now. Man. <laughs> okay, there it so is. the toilet, like, it's like you have to hold it down for so long. So half the time I just click it, hear it flush, and I'm good. Yeah. And then a man is like, Shane! <laughs> There's just a giant uh, log what chilling there. To do? It's like you gotta be a sick fuck just to leave a giant shit in a public bathroom. Man. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, I'll, yeah, at home, if oh, I did it to my roommates all the time. This is a joke. Well, <laughs> that's not a joke. That's well, just like, you being an asshole. It was like kind of funny with like, dude, like you gotta stop leaving your shit in the toilet. That's not. That's it's, like when people are like acting funny. all stupid on purpose, oh, and people are no. like you're just being stupid. Like, oh, I'm oh, not actually yeah. stupid. Is you're your trying to raise this legitimate concern, Robs? Oh, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I guess after a while, I was like, yeah, maybe I should just leave my shits in the toilet. But like in public, maybe if I go to, like the food court, at the mall, and they're just like a giant like puddle of shit not even like logs like we're talking like someone just like shit out their insides and you're just like dude flush the goddamn toilet i'm not trying to see your bowel problems or there's just like a fucking full roll of toilet paper oh, yeah. in there and you try to flush the water level rising you like fuck get i need to get out the of fuck out of here, out of here. Yeah. <laughs> just destroyed this toilet yeah how often do you guys do like the the toilet paper like like how did you see? Almost, how did almost never. never. I never do that. I yeah. used to do it all the time, but now I'm just, at this point, I'm like, fuck it. Like, my ass is already pretty Yeah, exactly. That's my ass. It's not, so, it doesn't need any special treatment. Someone, I think Mark Rober a long time ago <clears> did a video on if you put like a sheet of paper on the water itself, it doesn't sploosh. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't yeah, like, but that doesn't, doesn't happen, happen to me a whole lot. Like yeah. the water coming up and touching me like a bidet by accident. Yeah. Like, and honestly, when really? it happens, it's a nice treat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you feel alive for a little. Yeah. <laughs> like I haven't felt anything down there. I'm just like clean as you go. Oh, it just lubes <laughs> everything up. <laughs> Rob's just like, I hope this doesn't awaken something in me. <laughs> oh, Fuck, on man. this topic, okay. uh, however, uh, we have more. However oh, long yeah. we're gonna stay on it, do you can't you? Okay, wet wipes or like cracked when it comes to wiping your ass, man. There's that new, means good, right? Yeah, you okay. you, you can't. <laughs> Thank you. you. You can't go back once you've started using like wet wipes in your ass. Not like the brand of wet wipes, but like the, you know what I mean? The moistened yeah, yeah. ones. What if I use Arm and Hammer instead? <laughs> That'll work too. If you just coat your shitty asshole in baking soda, I'm sure it'll, <laughs> I'm sure it'll go away. He never actually matured past that baby stage where you just put baby powder on your butt. <laughs> Drew goes home and just turns around, pulls his pants down. His mom's got the fist full of every day. <laughs> He doesn't even wipe his ass anymore. He's just like, oh, that's just actually, hits him as he walks in the door. <laughs> that's actually how he stays so white. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's just all baking. So oh. I bleach myself every night. In a, oh, in a bath. You're like the reverse of Robert Downey Jr. in Tropic Thunder. Oh, I just got that. I guess that didn't take me too long after all. Doing. He's showing everyone how white. Doing a white. He's white balancing my cameras. My eyes. Yeah. Dude, I, I hope the lights are making me squint. Hey, let's play a game. Count the veins. Speaking Why? of veins, Christian, put your arm like this. This left arm. Do you guys see this? Oh! oh! Is that good? Yeah, I noticed it. It's like the one, like, that it's like comes from your bicep all the way to your forearm. What does that mean? It's good. It means that you've been using your forearms and biceps a decent amount. Fuck. <laughs> and then we still all have the... I have one here as well. The famous jerk-off muscle. Oh, look at mine, man. I must jerk off all the time. Get it? Drew's was significantly smaller yesterday after he finished hanging out with Bree. 
True. Oh man. It's probably smaller now after you hung out with me too. <laughs> <laughs> Monk. <Monka. laughs> it's gone. <laughs> He goes like this, just like goes into his arm now. Yeah. I really want to keep talking about shit. No, I, 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 no, 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 no. First, okay. have you ever had like a, such a good core workout where you're like I'm in the get middle some water. of it, <laughs> and it like you can't like you just like fart the whole time? Oh yeah, dude. Or when see, you, you guys have never worked. See, this hard is hitting too close to home for Drew. Or, so it's yeah. like or when you're walking down the stairs, every step yeah. is a fart. <laughs> When you wake up and like you're you're just like walking exactly downstairs from upstairs, it's like I, every it's like, step, it's like, <laughs> every single step is a fart. You're just like, it's gonna be a good day today. That's how you know if it's. Oh like yeah, a good day. it's gonna be a good day if you have to take a shit in the morning. Because if you don't take a shit in the morning, it's gonna creep up on you sometimes throughout the day. You know. So, um, I don't know if this is like something wrong with my bowels or something, but every once in a while, like if we go out for breakfast or like we have a big dinner, mm-hmm. sometimes like I can just feel it like brewing and it fucking hurts like it hurts until i go poo do you have ibs irritable bowel well, like it's not often like it's once in a while like I, i've noticed it more whenever i eat fast it happens oh, yeah. but um one time the worst time it ever happened to me was in japan after mm-hmm. that wagyu steak dinner that we had japan. and like i'm in the middle of trying to pay and i can feel it and like it's taking forever because like we're in japan so my card's not going through it's saying like it's rejected and i'm like i gotta get the fuck I, out. I, was like, I gotta fucking i gotta go yeah. and they were like are you gonna pay and i was like i'll pay after like i i, I need, need to, to go yeah. right now. and i go to the bathroom and then someone's like occupied so i just find one of the ra- random random waiters and i'm just like i i need, need to go to shit, he just takes bathroom. me to like the staff room oh. just... takes him to the kitchen sink <laughs> <laughs> christian just shitting outside he's like fuck it when you <laughs> gotta like, go you gotta go pay twice the price for your wagyu we'll clean it up yeah, well it's like give us a tip and you can shit wherever you want god damn it yeah yeah, I don't know. Okay, so uh, new topic. Okay. I was Thank just going to talk about shit. We're but... not talking about shit all day. All right. Um, Come on. I want your guys' opinion. I so I went to dinner with Annie and my mom. Okay. And Tonight? Please, Jeff. Seating, <laughs> seating across from us okay. was like an 85 or 90-year-old man okay. and like a 20-year-old girl. Is this ageist? But, ageism. So Me and Amanda just talked about this. So just right off the bat, seeing that. <laughs> That's a great you immediately think like, oh, it's like a sugar baby or whatever, up. right? What? No. Okay. So this is no. Drew, shut up! He's having a story. You pessimistic fuck. So this is where we were trying to debate, and at Black first I was like, baby. immediately I was like, oh, sugar baby. Okay. Because the girl was wearing like a fairly scantily clad dress. Mm-hmm. Where are you like, eating? Sorry. Yeah, what? it's actually that where matters. were you? Girls can the wear cake. whatever they ah, want yeah, these yeah, days. That's fair. So yeah. like it's like a nice steak place, and then she's wearing like a pretty like scantily clad dress, and like. Why Any would pictures? You... No, I didn't take. This offends me. And then I was just like, "Why would you dress up <laughs> this much for your grandpa?" Like, I get dressing up a little bit, like, but you yeah. know. Um, what if her boyfriend dropped her off? Shut up. That wouldn't change anything. <laughs> what if her pimp? Shut dropped up. Her He's off? telling the story. Let him finish the fucking story. So then, um, <laughs> Annie, I didn't realize this until after she said that she kept like zoning out from our conversation because she was trying to listen to them to see what they were talking about. As you do. And she said she heard at one point the girl said to the guy being like, "Oh, there's like." you know two boys like two girls and it sounded like she was talking about her family so so annie's like why would she be telling her grandpa about her family so that the other side grandpa didn't really make any sense mm-hmm. and then um towards the end they got like a cake for like a celebration i guess God, it was his birthday so and then she like took a picture of him with her phone and then at the end she i don't know if it was her wallet or maybe she had his wallet but she dug into like a purse yeah. and grabbed a card out of it and paid for the meal herself so i was like okay like, if you were a sugar baby, you wouldn't pay for your sugar daddy's meal. True. Maybe it's reverse. Maybe that's his I card, already 100% though. know what happened. Yeah, what? Let's hear it. There is a service that people can buy. Yes. Where they just basically chat with young ladies. Escort that service. That nice. But there's no, no. There's no like sexy physical time? Yeah. relationship. An escort. Oh. An escort so, just means like someone oh, like a yeah. companion. Done. There. He wanted to have a nice dinner on his birthday, mm-hmm. bought for by a beautiful young lady. He paid her back afterwards on the low low and then a thousand dollars. So that's what I thought because my mom kept asking, she's like, is there anything like, do you see them like chit chatting like romantically or anything? I was like, no, like they're just kind of like sitting there and every once in a while they'll chat back and forth. So I was like, it seems like it's just a casual thing. Or I'm ready for this. The young woman can wear whatever she wants and she was taking her grandfather to a nice birthday dinner. Also valid. Or maybe she's just a sugar baby or, as you called it that's one old ass grand, grand, <laughs> grandfather granddaughter that makes the most sense 
The I, age gap was pretty significant, though. So I was like, maybe... I, I would have to guess at that point, like, it okay. has to be a great grandpa. How old is the girl, like, in terms of... Like, she looked like she was, like, about your age or younger. You're only a year older than me. Yeah. Man. I'm not your age. Like, I'm a child. Your fucking age. Your age. <laughs> <laughs> She's dead <Right>. serious. <laughs> um, so I was just like... I guess I guess she could have been, like, 30s. It's kind of hard to gauge. But, like, I was like... like I'm, pre- I'm pretty sure I'm going to look 12 when I'm 30, so... That's a blessing. Don't forget true. that. Mm-hmm. So I guess anywhere between like early twenties to like early thirties. Cool. Guy was like eighty five, ninety. My take is definitely. Pimp. I think it's the first of Drew's <laughs> options. <laughs> you just swap between every possible option. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be inclusive. I don't know how this conversation came up with Amanda, but she was like, "Would you ever, if you were like in your fifties, like mid fifties, would you date someone who's 20? And I was like sitting, like driving, because we just got our Dairy Queen driving home. Like this, this question seems like a trap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's random. Yeah, it seems like a trap. And then I was like, how do I reply? I'm like, only if she's thick. <laughs> Amanda did not take kindly to the answer. <laughs> That's like only if she's. Thick. I keep showing any of these like TikToks that I see where it's guys recreating. They're like, oh, when your girlfriend wakes up at three a.m. to ask you a question. And the girlfriend's just like, oh, would you still love me if we got in a car accident and I lost, like, one of my arms? And he's like, yeah, of course. And she's like, would you still love me if I got some diagnosed with some rare disease where both my arms, my legs, and my body fell off and it was just a head and you had to carry me around everywhere? And he's just like, that's not physically possible. She's like, I knew you would say that. You don't love me. <laughs> you hate me. Thinking of that makes me want to throw up. Can't run a human head. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Yikes. Um, Big oof. I have a I have a question about this situation. Okay. okay. Do you guys think okay, so you know Wait, about, what situation are we talking the, about? The the old okay. the young girl. Okay, so make it a little like real life kind of yeah, intense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna relate this to stories like I this is very tender ground. So yeah, I'll bring this yeah, up yeah. just this is for Rob's first discussion. girlfriend. Yeah. No. Uh I guess sort of. Sort of. <laughs> um you know how you hear like so there's two so there's the the classic like male teacher predatory yep. okay yeah, towards yeah. young girls and then but then what does you, this have to do with your ex no this is my <laughs> I, don't know where that, I don't know where that came from you slid it in and then but, <laughs> sort of. but then you but then when you flip the script yeah it doesn't become like a crime anymore like, no it's still it is a crime. crime it is now it is, well but... it is technically a crime but like the way this public receives it is like attaboy kid you're yeah out attaboy kid like, and the teacher still goes to jail yeah it's just yeah. But, like so... You know what I mean? It's just weird how that dynamic exists. Yeah. It's it's always the case of like if you go on Twitter or on Reddit, whenever any popular case comes out, they like reverse the roles and it would be like immediately the guy's going to jail. But since it's a girl who did it, like there's the pranks where they go around like smacking people in the butt. They're yeah. like, Oh, if a guy did this, he'd be in jail. But mm-hmm. since it's a girl, everyone's like, Oh, like yeah. it's funny. They still go to the jail. But yeah, sometimes I think they're just viewed often. different. Yeah. I don't know. Guys, we can't be trashing women this, like, the day after International Women's Day. Oh, right. Oh, dude, I loved Twitter on International Women's Day because so many people were complaining. They're like, why is it on Daylight Savings Time? Like, we lost an hour of our day. Or in their other comments, (laughs) actually, yeah, there were people legitimately complaining. And then there were other comments where they're like, why are we celebrating having a Women's Day? It's just like, we're we're happy about the fact that they give us one day while the rest of the year we have to serve them as servants. I'm like, yeah. what? My sister was like, what so, the fuck? <laughs> yeah. R slash whoosh. Yeah. The thing about the day. Di- the- Wait. No, yeah. she was like, she's like, oh, we lose one hour in International Women's Day. My, my other sister, Sarah, was like, what about the male's day? When do they get a day? And, <laughs> and, 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 and then the one. My other sister's like, never mind. <laughs> I'm like, yes, yeah, Sarah. <laughs> what would International Men's Day look like? Just be a bunch of dudes just chilling in like boxers. Probably. No, it's it'd like be, that steak it'd be like, and blowjob day. That's International <laughs> yeah. Male's Day. It'd be like you'd go to a change room and then you'd see Rob pull down his pants, and be like, hey guys, you want to see my shit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not International Men's Day. It's just Tuesday morning. <laughs> Good morning practice. Tuesday morning had good That's life. Absurd. Like those people that are unironically saying stuff like that, I find absurd. Yeah. Well, it's mm-hmm. just like, that's just definition of, I'm going to find something to be triggered about yeah. today. Yeah. Like they don't that day's day. not for yeah. you. Yeah. We should also note here that we are four like straight male people who <laughs> probably. Well, like we would. Men, no, we respect come on. women. I know. I know if you have is, a day but... dedicated to empowering women and your one fucking complaint on that day instead of empowering women around you like the fucking day is meant to be is we lose an hour 
Go fuck yourself. True. As a as a person. Uh, amen. I don't give a fuck if you're a male. As a person, go, go off. fuck yourself. I agree to an extent. Next week, Drew's okay. going to be replaced by the avocado permanently. We should just bring yeah. in like a, a woman's rights specialist. Well, Hannah, let's go. Her and Drew can debate uh, the daylight savings issue if, <laughs> if it's tangible or not. I feel like even Hannah would be like, yeah, no, yeah whatever. Yeah, you say that, but. I, I don't know. That'd be an oh interesting conversation. To, uh, <laughs> yeah, see what, she, what she says. I love, so yesterday we got together for board games and uh, Drew dropped the R-bomb around Hannah and immediately we're all like, Wait, what's gonna oh. happen? Our bomb retarded. Christian, you oh, can't say that. I'm not saying it in a bad way. I am just saying it as a he's presenting it correct. Correct. part. Yeah, which like, apparently you can do on Twitch. I have there are like white people who drop the n bomb. They're like, if, as long as it's not using a derogatory Faze term. Dubs, yeah. who that is that was fucked. They're like, yeah, but he did it yeah. on someone else's stream. Still pretty fucked. And it was kind of, it was pretty not. It was the they, PewDiePie situation where, like, yeah, it shouldn't be in your immediate vocabulary, but the guy's 13, like, or 14. They fall into the same category as complaining that they lose an hour. Yeah. They're just looking, <laughs> they're trying to start something. Well, yeah. it's like, again, there's something to be said about it being, like, that within reach. You know what I mean? Like, if you just, if it rolls off your tongue that easy, then maybe it's like, you don't understand what the word means to certain people. True. But at the same time, it's like, if you're a gamer in the heat of the moment and you just want to say the most offensive thing you can think of, it's something along the lines of race or sexism. I will say, in terms of the R word, Brie has significantly cut back my use. Same. Yeah. I barely say it anymore. Same with the C word. Cunt? Christian! <laughs> I love that word. He does. He loves the C word. Cold of an Australia. <laughs> yeah. You're a cunt. Okay. True. What else is new? Here's Andy, the cover your ears. I used to have a really bad vocabulary, but I, the R word, I don't use like at all anymore. Okay. Um, the G word to describe things. Good day. Yeah, good day minus the D. Good I might. Don't they don't say that anymore. Yeah. And that's be a lot a lot to do with my uh Gwe. work history where I was like around a lot of Gwe. you know, people who were of that orientation. Okay. Um not that I was naive before, but it just kinda gives you a new appreciation to what that does that means to certain people, you know what I mean? If you just go around calling things gay, it's sure. definitely gonna like it it doesn't makes you look terrible and it makes everyone. And it I makes suppose you started with you. the G word. Well, like <laughs> I want fuck to, it, whatever. Like I'm, again, I'm using it the same way you presented yeah, the R yeah. word. Don't try to paint me as a terrible person. <laughs> a villain. <laughs> and then uh, yeah, just like anything that kind of like I I just kind of replaced everything with fuck. You know what I mean? Yeah, and that's, and that's basically my media yeah, word. And that's fuck. basically like it scratches that itch. And I'm just wanting to say a swear I'm like, word. Are you we've, fucking fucked? Yeah, we've replaced fuck by chalk. 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 What is it like? A di- is it That's foreign? A, it's a god, it's a god in smite. smite. <laughs> and in one of the like voice lines, he's like Chuck. When or you like, when you pick him, I was gonna say when you pick him as a god, he just yells that. I could get I could get on board with that. I think. Chuck. But oh, tangent about smite. I played my first game of conquest the other day. Oh, oh. without us. I didn't. I didn't really conquest. like it. No, tonight. no, no. We're gonna do what we did with Beck and Ben. We're gonna start clash, you on a clash. Fine. Clash. What's that? It's like a two so conquest is three lanes. Clash is just two. They're two close lanes and. Very There's, small, yeah. no like jungle. Two, two yeah. towers, two phoenixes, thing at the end. So they're, they're like right side by side with a jungle up the middle, but like you don't use the jungle as much. And if someone's getting me- fucked up, you can just like hop across and help them. Did out. you just swap messed up for <laughs> fucked up? Yeah. <laughs> but regardless, like, it's, everything with it's a good way to ease into dude, like team fighting. So, dude, our, I guess Arena is like a snapshot sort of shit show then, right? Oh, 100%. Yeah. yeah, it's literally just it, all it's like. <laughs> If you were to go to equivalencies, it'd be like Team Deathmatch. Team Deathmatch and shooters. Yeah. Clash is like Sabotage and Call of Duty. I'd say it's like Demolition. And no, I'd say it's like Sabotage and then Conquest is like Search and Destroy. Okay. Because Sabotage is where like you can arm the bomb on one or two sites. Demolition, yeah, but same like, thing. Oh, but it's like yeah. but it's Team it's, Deathmatch. It's like, th- or, it's, well, like demolition. every COD's somewhat different. There, but hasn't, still, there hasn't been a Demolition. A general it's like it's a dumbed down Search and Destroy. Yeah, yeah exactly. so it's, you can yeah. Re- it's a respawn Search and Destroy. What's yeah, Assault? Yeah. Assault would be assault? assault gun game. Yeah, yeah, gun game. Well, you, you get or like a free thing for all. Or... <laughs> yeah, it's literally it drops you into like a, a one lane map with a random god, and then oh, you really? can't go back to the fountain to heal. Like you can only Fuck go that. forward. No, it's pretty with funny. A, just it, WQ the shit of the people. But it's literally it's learning new. It gods. forces you to learn a god. Oh, that's true. Is the only ones that you have, or yeah, yeah. yeah so you'll okay. have a small pool, whereas us, it's. It's it's any of because yeah. any of the gods we have all of them like, although we've had a pretty good run we've won like the last five well we, we know most of the gods now and we can re-roll the ones that we like usually i'm worried i'm gonna fall into just like only play aries type you already of have thing. Yeah, well yeah. actually look at have you looked at your history 
It's like, I think I've played one a game that wasn't okay. Ares. Tonight, you're going to play a new god on the Clash map. Ymir. <laughs> no. I want to sure. play. I, I want to play him. He's sure. pretty fun. Yeah, well, you've played him. That's not a new god. What do you guys, what do you mean? It's just fun. It's just like the same type of god. You don't seem yeah. like a yeah. guardian main. That's the thing. Who should I play? Oh, I have you Mercury. You seem like you want to frag and no. then like. We'll, no, we'll, we're, we're buying you we'll from Assassin's. Able to, we'll sort it out later because we don't know who you have. Okay, yeah, I'll go off. I'll read the list of who I have, and then we can work backwards. Always default to a saucy Neath. Neath, yeah, well, Neath's the default one, right? That you play as in a uh, mm-hmm. thing. She was pretty fun, but I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of like hanging back that far. Fair. Mm-hmm. That's kind of like well, why like warriors. areas. Yeah, I can do. Uh... Oh, I don't want to play. Um, John Crab, dude. Kepri, Kepri, no, yeah. no, what? why not? You'll... He's the most support guardian you will ever play. Wait, he's sick though. You're all, you're yeah, up on like... everyone's face. I have that guy Diamond. Yeah, <laughs> and that skin you have the lobster skins jokes. That's kind of what, like I don't want to. I don't want to be. Alive. What have we done? He wants to be a support. Like, we should bring him in. Like, like I don't, like, I don't want to be relied on to frag. You know he's what already, I mean? He's already the better God. backup. We can carry, and he can actually play a good support. Just yeah. all this farm my <laughs> support abilities. Yeah. No, Speaking of, so today I took off stream Fuck. and I was just like, oh, I'm gonna be able to re- relax, like play games with people. And I was like, oh, you fuckers are like doing shit. I'm like, I'm, I've got nothing all day. You didn't even message yeah. me, man. I well, you, I knew you were working. I work. I guess that's true. I literally work. Got home, did 30 minutes of dish- dishes, and Drew just showed up. So we played yeah. Army of Two for like four hours, three hours. How far in did you guys get? Don't know. Third mission we I were want to say, like, I feel like we're like halfway through. It's not a very big game. Really? Mm. How was the nostalgia rush? I was just saying, I feel it's like pretty sick. Yeah. The only thing, like, the graphics did not date well. Yeah, there's times imagine. where, like, there's, like, buildings falling down, and there's, like, all this helicopter going in the building, everything like, falling down. Super square textures. And when and I first like, watched it, I was like, flying out. Yeah. yeah, I was like, this is fucking sick back in the day, and now I'm like, uh, yeah, it's kind of. Uh, I'm worried about that with uh, Last of Us because I think I'm going to play it through before Last of Us 2 comes out. Mm -hmm. I I feel like they still did a good job because it's PS4 Remastered Edition. I'm like, this is probably going to look a little dated now. Did you see um, they're making an HBO show? I'm so excited for that, dude. For what? For Last Last of Us. An HBO show. It has potential. Like, it depends. I don't know if they're going to do the same, like, story arc. I don't think they will. I think they're going to make something different. But, like, it would be amazing. But, like, you remember what I told you when I described the story, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know the story of The Last of Us. I looked it up after that episode. Actually. Yeah, so like, that's gonna be a really oh, intense show. Yeah. I'm so excited. There's so for many it. ways to mess that up, though. So hopefully, they do I don't. It right. I think they're working with Naughty Dog, and Naughty Dog has a history of like being perfect with their scripts and You're their story dog. writing. Yeah. Well, have they done any other adaptations before? No, but like, so their most famous series are like Uncharted and Last of Us. And yes, Uncharted, Uncharted was almost a movie. If you watch all the cutscenes in a row, or something. Last of Us right? is almost a movie. If you watch all the cutscenes in a row, yeah, damn. Well, um, what was I gonna say? Fuck. On the topic of HBO, did we talk about Westworld last week? Yeah, yeah. A new season just yeah, a new season is coming out on March thirtieth or something. I still haven't watched season one. Have you seen season two? No, <laughs> I've only seen part of season two. Actually, I, I haven't watched it. the finale of season one, but I've watched the rest oh, of season it's, one. It's fucking amazing. It's our, it's yeah. it's frustratingly confusing, but once you get it, it's no. Like, see the finale. Mostly, the finale like makes everything else confusing to the point where you watch it again and everything makes sense. Well, the second season then again flips everything you thought you knew. Yeah, and then it's like, by the way, there was two timelines. There was what a third timeline. Try, try, watch try not to give spoilers this time because I I convinced Annie to watch it with yeah. me. The finale is so fucking well, good. Well, you can crave. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, John Crave? Yeah, yeah. You, like, I'm gonna, it's a, well, Crave the only reason I stopped watching was because my roommate was illegally downloading it. Yeah, fuck that. You mean legally and then you moved out and didn't have access Actually, to Actually, technically, it. personal piracy is legal. Yeah, there you go. Fuck, right. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm just going to get a trial when the new season comes out and then just... Just come over here. But the... If, well, that works for me too. Want, if, when is it? Is it like Game of Thrones every Sunday type thing? I don't know. Because if it is, I'm, we can just make uh, it I can, thing. Me and Annie can no, easily make it through the first two seasons. Just call again. Yeah, we we'll just actually take, true. Take Shit, every Monday on work. His setup's <laughs> wow. fucking sick, dude. We were watching. You can't even deny his setup is unreal. Remember we watched the, the Game of Thrones his place. <laughs> yeah, the surround sound kept tripping me out. I would forget it was there. Then like you hear like a. Shit. One of my I'm favorite tripping. moments ever is like we're we're all like watching Game of Thrones and like like there's like a creak of a door opening and like everyone's like intently watching. Rob's just. <laughs> the shit but the funniest thing is is like 10 minutes later happens again and Rob's just like just speak, cause I get really immersed into my into but he's, things like that he's on the corner of the couch kind of like here the TV's there and the speaker's right here so every time I was like what the fuck he hears like some like step he's like 
literally go <laughs> it was funny well, that, that's the one thing i'm really excited for when me and any buyer plays is that uh i just make a setup i want to make an amazing like home just theater, home theater setup. Yeah. yeah just don't buy those actual theater seats for your, like those are really uncomfortable i'm what just gonna buy like two king size beds Bro, have, put them what, next to each other and everyone can just what theater seats there. have you been in like there's some comfy ice i know but like yeah. the yeah. home the theaters I'm, i've been in like two or three home theaters of my obviously richer friends okay. and all of them i'm like i would be much more satisfied just in like a regular ass chair like an arm just chair get a big something. open room and get like i don't know 20 bean bags yeah love you sacks. know that would be pretty love fucking sacks. Sick, love sacks dude those are so comfy because then you could like you could have like you could be in like three of them dude i'm so <laughs> i'm so on board with that idea just full of bean my bags. my only issue with it is like so the one thing i don't like about our recliners is that when you go all the way back you have to mm-hmm. like basically tilt your head forward to watch so like i feel like if you're on the love side you have to be like no they're huge looking. man you just literally sit in one and it has back support mm-hmm. it's like mm-hmm. a big enough beam that you can sit in it and it kind of gets your back and your shoulders let's just it. say that when we buy our place you guys are all coming Next to week. interior decorate i'm gonna make an entire room dedicated to star wars <laughs> that will literally just be the room of the star destroyer lego when it's done yeah True. it's gonna be the size of this fucking table i don't know if you guys don't know what i'm talking about but in the force awakens oh, yeah. nope you know that scene on none of us Star have watched Killer. it you haven't seen the force awakens no no are you guys are fucking kidding me <laughs> what do you guys do in your spare time just not watch star Place wars <laughs> yeah we don't watch star wars for the 50th time dude i have watched force awakens six times i need to go to Wait, see which one's force awakens the first one the oh. first of the new trilogy i have seen it. i have no memory of any oh, of it i've though. seen it it's great well there's this one scene anyways what i was gonna say okay there's Is like the, the speed racer one speed racer no he's talking like the new is it the one no he's talking about the new i am your father the first of the new series oh like so with my hands so the seventh movie he's like anyways there's like a giant like there's a scene where yeah yeah. there's like a bunch of stormtroopers standing there's like a big red theme behind them and i I think i found a big vinyl of it on amazon i really want to buy it is force awakens number seven or is that it's technically number seven number one in the new trilogy okay yeah so what do you mean force awakens just makes it number seven it literally says well, episode Actually, seven. Seven. Yeah, it's episode seven, Five, and, one, it's, one. and it's the seventh movie of the series. Yeah, but Correct. the Star Wars like nerds will say that it's three separate trilogies. Or wait, yeah, three. Two, well, the three Star Wars trilogies. nerds need to learn how to read covers. It literally says Star Wars Force Awakens hey, five one one. I'm That's just, a seven. In I'm, my just, I'm just presenting the jargon as it's been spoken to me. I like you say five one one instead of V I I. Whatever. <laughs> five they, one one. They just have the normal numbers. They have, they have, they have Miami's area code as the <laughs> as the title of it. But yeah, I wanted to buy it, but it was two hundred and sixty bucks, and I have no nowhere to put it. And I'll buy it. Buy it and put it in the. But Star it has Wars to be room. hung up in this podcast room until you on that wall until you make a Star Wars room. Yeah, outside the room. <laughs> and actually, I'll go hang it up in the garbage chute room. <laughs> if you want to spend two sixty bucks and throw it out, go ahead. Sick. What? Yeah. Have you ever tried sliding what? down head first? You didn't every know? every apartment has one. Like the. It's like right here. <laughs> outside though. Drew, you should slide down, bro. See what happens. No, it's literally out in the hallway. Yeah. We walk past it every single time we've come here. They're trying to get me to leave so they can lock me out. True. Oh, true. I've been around this joint for too long. All right, go. <laughs> what, what happened the other day where like... Oh, wait, I was editing. Uh, in the one video. <laughs> Drew fucking keeps giving me like the wrong call out. Like it's just a 1v1. <laughs> and then he's just like... On purpose. I, and like, yeah, I, he's like uh, on cameras and making call outs accurately at first. And then he just starts giving me random bullshit call outs. <laughs> And he's just like, behind you, behind you. I was like, wait, what? How? And I turn around and no one's there. And I fell for it like three times because I was just like, is he fucking with me? I don't know. Literally then, on Villa at that 90, and he's like pushing this way. I'm like, behind you, behind you. He like comes back this way. I'm like, dude, behind you. He like goes back. And then he's like, I'm like, behind you. And he like pops up in front of him. It's because it was Cav. So it was like, she could easily be like silently moving around. I just don't know. And then I was like, Drew, this is why we fuck with you. Because you do these one rare things. And it makes me so mad that I just fuck with you forever. Yeah, it was fun. I was definitely worth it. True. That's what I would do. Is that the one where I just popped Doggo? Yeah. It was, we lost you a four him. versus zero. We killed everyone and we lost the round. Oh, God. God. <laughs> because it was, um, How so it was like us, us three in a they random left. And then they, they planted a diffuser. We kill them all. And then our random goes to diffuse it. Doggo throws a C4 and kills the random. Goes to start diffusing it. I walk up. I shock on him. He gets downed. <laughs> but I shock on twice. 
and when he's down i already get reverse friendly fire so, so it just yourself. kills me <laughs> and then drew walks up stares at him and dog was like no no no, like just pick me up and i was like drew don't do it don't do it I literally, drew just fucking I, shotguns him i, I but, was castle with a shotgun doing those <laughs> dumb strats so i have like this shotgun the diffuser doggo on his back looking up at me and i'm like <laughs> Boom. and so since i got Boom. reverse friendly fire we got it as a squad so then when drew shoots him he dies and since dog goes down we just lose the round <laughs> and then we lost the next round and we were down three to four and i was like we're not losing you didn't this lose you just yeah, threw it from the sound of it yeah that's the definition yeah yeah, good times. You guys, need, you guys needed me in that stack, man. Put the dog. Maybe down. if you ever played Siege, dude, you don't play Siege. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, this guy just decides not to stream. He's like, oh yeah, I got gotta go to dinner with my mom. I gotta record a match and stream for three hours. Uh, not sure how I'm gonna put that in a day. <laughs> like, dude, just get up early. He's like, the queue times are long. Roasted. I actually, so I finished. I gotta sleep and brush my teeth. <laughs> Roasted. I, I finished tomorrow's video at like twelve ten today. Good so job. I was like, I, was like, I oh, could have streamed. But then I was like, nah, fuck it, whatever. I'm just not going to stream. And then I was so bored. I was just at my desk. Like, I downloaded XCOM 2 again. I bought Luigi's Mansion 3. But the downloads were so long. I'm just sitting there for like an extra hour. She's like, should bored. I stream for 30 you minutes? And then, I, and then I messaged Annie. I was like, Annie, come home. <laughs> like, play board games with me. I'm yeah. so bored. Because none of you fuckers were on we either. just come here after. Oh, you had dinner. Though. That's it. Yeah. I was I was saying, why don't we just too. come here? Yeah, we could do that. Any. I had an early ass dinner. What time did you go, go at? 5.30. Oh, that's not early. Never mind. That board game we played yesterday, me and Drew were talking. Like it's perfect. It's so much mm -hmm. fun. What's like, it called? I Thoroughly it. enjoyed. It's called Cyclades. Cyclades. It's like yeah. a Greek mythology. Oh, uh, like one of the better games I've played in a long time. It said on the box, it said forty-five minutes to sixty. Took us three hours. Yeah, but to be fair, but we were like three. Hours. We were struggling to learn it for a while, and then we eventually. Yeah, we got the well. I, I I just like I held everyone's hand for a turn or two. Yeah, <laughs> and then we were good. I was just amassing a fortune, and I did not come close to. I loved it because <laughs> so basically, what you can do is you can constantly take like you have five choices. You can take the last choice, and if you're Apollo. in the fifth one, then you go first in the next round for your choices. So Drew would always keep taking the fifth one. The fifth one will just basically get you a bunch of money over time. Oh. So he kept doing that over and over <gasps> again. And then he was just like, whenever we had to bet on stuff, he was like, oh, like you guys can't out bet me. Like I have <laughs> so much money and just then, always talking about how much money he has. But then when he needed it, we just bid him up. Yeah. And then it's like, like a bidding system. And then by the end, we were like, Drew, you need to like outbid Shane to stop him from winning. He's like, I don't have enough money. <laughs> <laughs> the, thing, the thing is, is like as you were getting more money each turn, like... Like, at the end of the game, I was getting 10 a turn. Yeah. Because you, you had so many islands. Well, I only had, like, the four, but, like, I had all those, the ports, yeah. I had everything. So, like, even when you were at your peak of, like, when we were talking, you were at seven, I was already at eight with, like, the Navy, with so, the Army. Rob, the reason I li loved it and the reason I kept to it is I had one island in the middle of the map, <laughs> and the, uh, there's, like, monsters. And the one monster I had made it so, like, when he comes down, all the ships have to scatter and no ships can come into that range. So you nobody, some could, God nobody could exactly. come to the <laughs> island get there. to take it. And, and like I, just have, I have this monster on top of it, and they get little cornucopias <laughs> and for going on Apollo. And every cornucopia counts as like one extra coin at the end of the turn. So I had like eight cornucopias on this island with this fucking dude holding a boulder above his head. But this is all he had. And I had to double down every time because there's a card in there which would allow them to take a troop and put it on that island, which and would then, then make it, it their island. So I just had to keep every going Apollo round. so that I got the first choice every time so that when it came up... And then when it finally came up... it's all a bidding system, so I didn't yeah. even... I'm but, so dumb. But when it finally <laughs> came up, we are just like, okay, we know he has a ton of coins. I'm just going to bid as many as I possibly can, which happened to be like 16... So but he had to outbid me with like 17 or 18. The and then funniest thing at that part is I had like 40 coins. So they're like, oh, you spent oh, all your coins. Yeah. I'm like, it's not even half. <laughs> and then he came in last. And then yeah. I came in. Wow. Well, you had the least, no, you had the least amount like of progress. No, she had more progress than you. Because she had. <laughs> progress she, how? Oh, she had a metropolis. You oh, had nothing. Yeah, and Hannah had a oh. metropolis. You came in last. Oh. I came you up. did come in last. <laughs> even even though Shane took my progress, I still had more progress <laughs> than you. And I Hannah, had fun. Hannah turned all the white men. Into, then, you, uh, then you're the real winner, Drew. As long as you have fun. I was so angry because Annie just wiped out my ships in the first turn, and when it made no sense to be doing that. She was probably just trying to bully me. I, I agree. It made no sense. Well, she no, she dropped out. She dropped took out Hannah's ship. Yeah. What a bully. It made zero. She paid four coins. 
yeah. could take out all of our ships on the yeah. first. It, Christian, you Christian, know what? I, I am. I approve of when someone just causes chaos in a game. I do. <laughs> I really do. And then that kraken like kind of pinned you guys Brody away at the end. Kraken. <laughs> yeah, it was sweet. Very yeah. good game. Besides, was, was all thing. Hurt was all thing. I actually liked the one game he played. What was it? Cockroach poker. Um, no. That one was fun. It's a great game. Man. But, uh, oh yeah, you have played that one. No, the ones that we played, we played two games. They were very similar. The castle one. No, the other one we played, where it was like land and bridges and shit. Oh, settlers. Yeah, that was pretty. Oh, fun, you played actually. that. Uh, yeah. yeah. April fourth. You were there. Weren't yeah. You? No, Rob, that's come. after I left. Oh. April fourth. Oh, that's that th- your girlfriend's thing, right? Yeah. 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 Book it coming? Well, the, April fourth. Well, it's a Sunday, isn't it? Saturday. Yeah, and I can come. Cool. Perfect. Is it like a nighttime thing? Four p.m. That works, yeah. And you, get, and you get food. April fourth. Uh, I don't. I have no excuse at the moment. No, exactly. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what. Food. What kind of food? Mennonite food. Zaw? Probably like chilies and stuff, which I'm fucking pumped. Dude, for. Mennonite food would be sick. Progies on like schnitzel and well, shit. Well, no, they'll make like they'll, schnitzel. They'll literally probably just like load up like ten crock pots with ten different like types of chili and stuff. S- chilies and soups. That way you have it. You can pick. I've right. been wanting to buy a settler's board for a while that's like 3D printed oh, and yeah. painted with oh, like... Oh, that one looks lame. Yeah. You that showed was... me some really good Wanna ones know in what the would past. be sick? You could have bought that instead of a fucking avocado. <laughs> <laughs> or... Just buy both. Yeah, I would just buy both. And, and make a video Shit. out of it. <laughs> yeah. Just we'll have, play the, some settlers. have the box on like the back of the, one of your videos you make and count it as we a do, content. We definitely do need to have like a, a practice night one of these days. Yeah. Oh, actually, we, we should play Cyclades and Catan. That's less than a month away. Eh? Holy fuck. For what? The tournament. April 4th. So it's pretty much like a settler's tournament. Like how many people are going to be there? Like 30. In just I'm, that tournament. I'm probably going to lose. There's going to be a few girls. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A few girls. How many girls am I going to find in the Mennonite Settlers <laughs> <laughs> tournament? But, um, Ones that my mom will approve of, surely, I imagine. Yeah, all Amanda's <laughs> friends will be there. Surely, I imagine. <laughs> yeah. We'll reintroduce you. Okay. Is yeah. one from uh, climbing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rob, are you coming climbing tonight? I am not. I told him to no. climbing tonight. No, she's not. Yes, yeah, she is. I thought it was Tuesday or Wednesday that she was coming. Wait, what you, what is right. this? I'm trying oh. to find the like settler's board. That... Yeah, there's one he showed me a while back that was... That Wait, oh, was it the wooden one? That, yeah. Like, yeah I, I don't know where that one is. How are you going to buy that? Some dude made it. It's like 400 bucks. Somebody it's not too made bad. It. <laughs> 400 bucks? Yeah. I guess that's pennies to there's, um, money bags over here. At the market, there's a place where they have like the frames, so all the tiles fit very nice. Yeah, and I'm very tempted to buy one. My friend told me that they apparently sell like the full board and everything there. So it's beautiful. Well, I, I haven't seen the board. They 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 do the frames. They do all the things to hold the cards, but I haven't mm. seen like the tiles. Is that your you guys favorite board game? Would you say no? But it's but like it's, a, it's a classic. It's a, it's one you can always fall back. What is on. your? Do you guys have a favorite, or is there just like? I honestly, think mine it, might not be cyclic. That was yeah. really fun. It, it switches. It always yeah. switches. Mm-hmm. Our, my favorite to fall back will always i think be black fleet mm-hmm. it's the perfect four player game um just Bo- love it board games is something that i want to do for content for a while because there is an audience for it the issue is just like well people explaining want- everything in a very cohesive manner that people understand yeah so and how, just do you, how do you show everything rules. like so settlers would be so complicated because <laughs> if it's like four of you us need here, a top down camera you need almost. a top down camera to see everything you also need to be able to see what's in everyone's hands. So I don't think you need that much detail. Like if you had this set up here, so you could see the people, and then you had one of the board. I really don't think like it would be sick to have everyone's <clears throat> hands, but yeah. like re- that's kind of impractical. I think it adds suspense from a viewership perspective. You're like, oh, Shane played that. Yeah. yeah, maybe. But the thing is, that, like, you're right. Like, if it would be way too hard to see everyone's hands. There's gonna be someone who's just gonna be like tracking it and be like, at this exact moment is when Shane picked up that sheep. You well, can see that he held on to it for five thing, turns. So we played board games in Boston. And like and a great turn. We were on like a fucking mm-hmm. like we were we were recording this. I thing. was streaming it from my phone. His phone, so it just looks like shit. And some dude called somebody out for fucking yeah, cheating. He's like, <laughs> Drew has been doing this for the last five turns. It is cheating. <laughs> and we're like, what the <laughs> fuck? We didn't even notice that. I don't even think you have to explain. I think you could just kind of like ad hoc, like when someone asks a question, just just answer. Yeah, yeah. answer. Yes, like, I don't fair. think you need to explain the whole. Game Maybe have like well, it wouldn't be streamed. It would just be recorded. Oh, I was gonna say if it was streaming, you, you, know, stream? you know how you have that exclamation mark command thing? Yeah, you can just have one of those that pops up a quick like four or five mm-hmm. paraphrase of the rules. Well, it's something I definitely want to do, but it would be like when I get my house because yeah, we cool. need like a much bigger setup than and the Star next, Wars room. next Monday market. Mm-hmm. I mean, Next Drew, Monday. We're talking, but you can probably start getting some cheap, well, not cheap houses, but interest rates are going to keep going down. Once people yeah. die from Corona. No, well, right like now. we're 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 both who hit a recession. Oh really? Yeah, the market. Bank of Canada Isn't dropped it? at fifty basis points. Didn't the market like crash <laughs> that? Means? The market literally dropped like ten percent cheaper rates. Yeah. 
what does that mean? Just half percent cheaper rates. Finance for dummies. Uh, the, the, what? the interest rate that all of the banks base their rates off of is now less, and they have to follow <laughs> that within a certain range. Mm-hmm. So you're saying that this summer would be the best time for me to buy a house for the moment in the foreseeable future. Yeah. Well, Probably. I might. Well, actually, yeah, come summer because that should be where because uh, the the virus is getting bigger and bigger. But the the prices of the houses won't go down, just the interest. Yeah, right. the money you'll is, you'll get more yeah. value for your money technically. Hmm. But and also my money would go down because it's all invested. Yeah, but yes. then it goes back up. Well, no. But way, I need that money to buy the house, seed, right? Yeah, but like you just need the down payment. But True. technically, yes. But for the house I want, but it, you could just not invest them. There's your just down like twenty percent. Yeah, like you don't need to take anything out of investments. You just have to stop putting into investments for a down payment, and then ah. Yeah, so stop putting stuff in as of tomorrow. Like a mortgage? Yes. How do mortgages even work, yo? <laughs> I'm not even kidding. It's like, literally just a loan. You from the so, bank. That's all it looks so yeah. angry when you say it. Well, fuck. It's, no. it's a big loan from the bank that has certain regulations around it because it's meant for a house. Mortgage like, literally means like loan till death. It's supposed to be like a lifetime payment. Mort. Oh, mortem? Mort? Yeah. Oh, it means sense. something about death. Because um, I had... like I. I know the math, or I knew the math like, behind it. Because I got a mortgage two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I got a mortgage on my car. <laughs> but no, I, I know yeah, but you're a business major. Yeah, I, I had to do tests on it. I just never understood what the fuck I was doing. I just knew no, that this number true. went here and that number went there, and that's the answer. Basically, true. they take your house price, and then they take like the interest that would be paid over time, and then they break that down into set payments. So, like, if you have a, if you have like so five car payments, say. It's, for so you're leasing a house say you're almost. paying like five payments a year yeah. it's going to be broken up into principal and interest so the first payments while the loan's really large is going to be a lot of interest yeah because it's just going to keep like building up and as the payments get down the principal is going to take over and you're going to be paying less and less interest yes that's why they always say like put as much cash down as you can because then you're paying less interest because over time yeah. oh because like but the longer you have the mortgage the more your so interest like if rates you're, if you're you putting like a ten thousand dollar down payment on a car and it decreases your financing payments by X amount. That's just interest that you're not mm-hmm. paying, basically. But for the mortgage, let's say you put down what it doesn't matter how much you put down, whatever you're paying over time, that like even if you pay extra installments early, the total interest doesn't go down, right? Because you're still paying the same price. You're just cutting time off the end, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Because like that's how my car is, where it's just like if I were to pay early, it would just be like, oh, you just take a month off. You don't lower your interest Which overall. overall you don't lower your interest rate but like you end up paying less well no you still pay the same it's just yeah. earlier this is this is right it all depends yeah. this has too, been genuinely like informing. floating rate yeah, loans it's gonna change oh can't floating rate loans just fuck you though all of a sudden your depends. loan's like fucking 20 percent. <laughs> it'd be a really good time to have you, a floating rate loan you, right you now. can Correct. uh jamarcus russell yourself remember what he did he's an nfl player Jesus. and then the, the lockout happens <laughs> it's gibraltar yeah. no like the, from apex <laughs> that'd be sick i don't even know what he said at first no, like jamarcus gibberish. russell i think his name was he is a nfl player okay who had like a four million dollar year salary the the nfl lockout happened right where they didn't get paid mm-hmm. so he took out a loan of what his salary would be <laughs> And then he ended up just shitting the bed and not getting re-signed because <laughs> he was wasn't good enough. And then he just had this like multi million dollar debt because he thought he was going to get paid. And then it's like the it's like the they tell a story to all new NFL players now. It wasn't like, quite. Do it this. wasn't Man, a play. Yeah. That that's more of like a story how his bank fucked him than anything. Well, like you shouldn't take you shouldn't think You're still and like in my opinion you shouldn't have the thought process as oh i'm just gonna take a loan the size of my Correct. salary you should not think that way and your bank should by no means give you give a you four the, million dollar loan on yeah. a well the numbers are probably well, for the them, numbers probably earnings act for them it's but, just better right i guess like you can't money. pay it back but like it's still I don't, I, don't I don't know you would have to have some sort of lean on that that is absurd like you'd have it like it's ha- like his properties or something you're right there'd be something behind yeah that's unless a, unless he's himself. already a private client in some regard where it's like they're just trying to retain him yeah regardless but like then you yeah that's what i'm worried about is like i don't want to buy a house without having the money because i'm like if my business fuck or whatever goes under fuck like fuck what the fuck do i do just punch me in the face you sell your house but like no <laughs> unacceptable you <laughs> save you save up three months in cash for a down payment the next month is fucking mortgage payments for the next year. You future proof it that way. You have investments. You wait for them to go back up. And then if you need to make payments, you just take them from investments. 
The, the idea no. Christian, Christian, you make half a million fucking dollars a year. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You, you, <laughs> is that that's before the tax, man? Yes. Yeah. And still. that's before like uh, corporate tax as well and stuff like that. <laughs> the so idea the corporate taxes are nothing. Yeah. Well, the idea 15. of going into debt just terrifies the fuck out of me. I agree. I completely like, agree. That's like, something I had to talk to Annie about because I was just like, it's something that I struggle with because I don't know. I guess how it is. I feel like there's a... only one good debt, and that's like your house. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of that's the, my opinion. Some of the like richest people are just debt gurus. They, mm -hmm. they just know how to work debt so well that like, like in terms profit. of they administer the loan or like they Every, anything. Yeah. Like they just know intricately how debt works, so they know how much debt they can take on, how they're gonna pay it back, what debt can work towards what other debt. It's like, crazy. <laughs> the only thing I ever knew or figured out was that when I was still in school, I didn't need. OSAP like the loans but I was like fuck I'm taking anyways because there's no interest on it until you graduate yeah. so I just took the like 10,000 they gave me and put in my tax-free savings account for like the two years that I was there and I just Built grew interest up. yeah shit I should have done that and then I just paid off I all my student to. debt at the end yeah when, in my fourth year I was finally eligible for OSAP and I'm just like I may as well apply they gave me six grand in grants so and just... then a two two grand loan I just pay off the loan right mm -hmm. away and walk away with four Beauty. It sucks that the, the conservatives are gonna take that yeah, all thanks, away. Wait, thanks, four K. You just net, you just took it. Yeah, it's a grant. Rob's like, where the fuck what was the this when I was there? Yeah, literally. I, I was not allowed to go south because of my Wait, parents. I know, how, but how much was your tuition per semester? Um, with or with with or without co op. Sure. It doesn't matter. Um, so like a term, an eight month term for me. Like wait, one semester? Four yeah, months? one semester. Oh man, about sixty eight hundred to seventy five hundred. Okay, so we were talking about this at Firehouse, right? Or we were talking or... about it like yesterday. Was it yesterday? At board games. Oh, whatever. Um, I don't think so. I was busy playing like board games. like five classes was but about seventy five. I remember 8, the conversation. But anyways, we were talking about how um, so like my tuition when I was in media was three thousand five hundred per semester. Mm -hmm. When I was in computer <laughs> science, it was eight thousand. Yeah. Okay. There you go. That's more like it. Isn't isn't Ben paying like 50 fucking K? Yeah. Yeah, but he lives in the States, so yeah. he's, he's getting like a media degree. That's fucked. School in the States is fucked up. Well, it's because he's technically paying out of state tuition yeah, because yeah. it's in DC, which is not a state. So like anyone who comes in is paying out of state tuition unless what? you were born in DC. It's still fucked. So what the hell's um, he taking? Is that? he going to be a fucking astronaut or something? No, he's I mean, going to be a gardener. <laughs> not getting I don't know gonna, what he's, he's taking. He's going to be a fucking hobo. Yeah. <laughs> this what is he doing? I don't oh. know. But oh, um, yeah, it's <laughs> but we were talking about uh, like the difference in tuition, which I guess you just never knew that there's different numbers. Yeah, it's worth shit. Yeah, like so, like the how much you pay for tuition is based on how likely you are to find a job. I knew it so was, if your I tuition was something like that. If yeah. your tuition's eight thousand, that's like the highest it'll go. That's like you are more likely than anyone else to find a job. Whereas when I was in media and Annie's in English, our tuitions were thirty five hundred because. Chances are you're not going to find a job. I okay. knew it was different. I just assumed it would bottom out at like six. So no. I yeah, three thousand for tuition is like someone dude, else. every penny I <laughs> made during I school went like, towards what? my <laughs> that's balls penny back. Like I finished school without debt. I'm a little in debt to my mom, but like I paid the off all debt, my. But... Well, like it's, there's no interest on the Iron Bank. But you're, you'll, you'll, call her. you'll always be in debt to your mom. That's what I mean. Yeah. Like she birthed I, you. Mm -hmm. she, like I'm, I'm gonna be the kind of the person that doesn't move out of like too far from my hometown just True, so I can like same. take care of them when they're older, you know? Because my sister's like a good person, but she's in Toronto. But you she's know? a fucking asshole. And won't <laughs> take care of them. See, Rob says that now. Meanwhile, he's out there trying to get the coronavirus and being like, "Hi, mom. <laughs> hey, mom. <laughs> Give me a kiss." I'm hey, a, I'm mom, you updated your will recently, mom, right? <laughs> mom, I haven't seen grandma and grandpa in so long. <laughs> Are they still sitting on all that money? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Terrible. Shame on me. <laughs> but right, but you could probably buy a new hat after that. Dude, this hat is beat. No, to that hat's shit. going. This, just, is, this is my first ever gym hat. I you know that's the work. worst part? We could probably spend two months of the Bag Boys podcast income just to get Rob one hat. Yo, <laughs> hey. Let's do it. Buy, me, I, buy I, me any kind of hat and I'll wear it. I support that decision. Did we you gotta, just hear the man? You can uh, any hat you guys find. Bag boys in, income is a legitimate concept. Rob, if I bought I you, like I like that idea. A hat just like that, but it had the Varsity Gaming logo. I would wear it. I'd wear it. What if it had the Varsity Creep? I would wear it. That's sick. I'd wear it in mm. here. <laughs> Like a blacked out hat just with the varsity creepy mode. I think it was funny. Like a dad hat with yeah, that. That's sick. I'd, I'd wear it. 
but right. to the gym you, maybe not if you no. made varsity creep into a little patch and sewed a little tiny patch onto a hat i'd wear it yeah it's kind of cool like if it was like not egregious but like no like small a, enough. like a, like like a small symbol it's yeah. a whole trend where they'll have like a black hat and then like a little yeah, exactly. like palm tree patch hey, on it maybe we, that's that can be your question today would you buy well how many people are gonna know what varsity creep is i though? think it needs well, to Christian, be patch, we've gone through though. this many times where it's like oh i'd buy that for sure and then two people buy it and it's it's us we should do a crowdfund thing you get <laughs> I, them to pay he for it so, his merch in a video in two videos and we sold more in those two days than I have in like the last five months. Holy shit. Well, then let's make a fucking hat. Let's do it. <laughs> but the issue is, okay, so for Varsity Creep, it wouldn't work because obviously most people on YouTube don't know it. And also, like, I just never plug my merch so no one ever knows that it exists. You should plug we it. Could, we could just do it for Bag Boys specific. Bag Boys merch. At the bottom of the Bag Boys. And it, and like, it, buy it, Bag Boys merch. It wouldn't sell much, but... There's seven people. Boys, who let us know who's gonna buy it. <laughs> also, like, what would we put on the hat if it we was Bag Boys? You. Versus Versus Creep. Creep. Or a little Bag Boys logo, a little Bag Boys patch on a black hat. I'd I'd wear the shit out of that. True. Or like it has it, to be on like, a patch. Be, it has to be like the Supreme font, but it says Bag Boys. <laughs> Drew's like, I'd wear the show that I put it out. Christian, can you get me I already, one? I already Christian, put I in need an the order discount. for a sweater. <laughs> yeah, I can get the clothes at like cost so huge they're pretty cheap it's so like yeah. 30 cents <laughs> no along those lines depends on where they get made i guess but... 30 cents 30 cents why is, why is this sweaty? wait 30, 30 like, cents and I, it comes it, with... I washed this once there's already holes everywhere 30 cents and it comes with covid19 <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one of the i was listening about covid19 i was listening to like a hockey you know who jeff o'neill is yeah, overdrive yeah. right yeah they were calling he was talking about coronavirus like he called it a uh, coors light 420 or something like that <laughs> this is such, a, such a fucking hockey dude comment like i don't yeah. give a fuck about this jeez but also we are already at an hour 20 that went yeah, by real fast climbing. yeah um love you guys next week okay quick next week uh can i Prepare no. a list of finance questions to ask Drew sure. that I've always wanted answered. Sure. sure. Well, I'm going to show gonna... up 10 minutes late because I don't want to be a part of that. <laughs> <laughs> Drew's my accountant, so he can really answer anything. He's going to be testing and I'm going to fuck it up. And then no, no. I, I just want to know like basic things. Again. Yeah. I've never... John buys 50 watermelons per hour. If okay. Alice buys 10 watermelons per minute, how much do they have after five hours? Go. Fucking hell. Dude, I had to do that kind of shit for my thing. <laughs> 69. Oh. You gotta think outside the box. They're not Alice's you know watermelons. They're no. John's. Yes. Per minute? 10 per minute? I don't, I don't even remember or, what I said. Or one per 10 minutes. I don't know. You said 10 per minute, so that's no, 3,250. 3, it's All fucking right, sure. I sent a black hole for me around this topic. That yeah. we should, uh... Okay, what, uh, what's the qu- what's, what do we want people to comment? Um, what did we say last week? It was Drew, right? Yeah. Just keep on the, the Drew let's, hate. let's let's think. Uh, what Drew hates boys always. Would you buy? Well, Drew hates <laughs> Drew hates always a constant, no matter what. Yeah. So we mm. should spice it up. Can a we just get like a big paper bag princess, like uh, just a massive bag, and then we can all wear them here one day? We could do that. <laughs> How does this ba- relate to comments? Big oh, boy. Oh, boys. So yeah, okay. that's not a comment. Question. But- Mm-hmm. What what would you want <laughs> if you were gonna wear a Bag Boys merch? What would have to be on it to be worn? I'm just picturing. Well, I, phrased like, that, no. I phrased that better. I'm picturing like all of us walking in. Like all we have is just this big paper bag on. Like the cuts up here, and then Rob walks in, and you know when you've like you go to like Sunny's and you have greasy fries in the bottom of the bag, <laughs> and it's all soggy. Yeah. <laughs> Rob walks in, and you're like, what, what? the. Like, you know what? It's my swamp be, ass. You know what would actually be a good comment? How many people out there have actually shit themselves? Yeah, yeah sure. we'll do that. How yeah. many? If you've shit yourself, say <laughs> how many times and why. Amy's uh, what, gonna be the first brought it on. Amy? Amy? When I went to get water, she's like, "What are you guys talking?" I'm <laughs> <laughs> gonna say Annie shit herself. She's an expert. Probably the first time she got in Christian's Tesla, she was like, "This is a Tesla." <laughs> 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 All right, we'll just leave it. Walks that. around to the frunk. <laughs> the frunk. Oh, we'll leave it at that, that before we get into more shit. So. Okay, bye. Bye, as poo. <laughs>